Seth, I heard that your set in Montreal just for last went over amazingly well. Was that the first time you've done stand-up since we did uh, benefit for JCC uh, 11 years ago at Yuck Yucks? Were you there, man? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was on right after you or before you. What's your name? Sean Bordoff. Yeah, I remember your name. Were you funny? What were your jokes like? <laughs> uh, it went pretty good, yeah. For uh, Jeff next movie, I play a stand-up comic. Uh, I'd done one show a few days before at uh, the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in L.A. And, uh, yeah, it went good. Um, I got a lot of bald jokes, a lot of jacking off bits. Uh, got a good bit about Ian McKellen. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's been going pretty good. Uh, I'm a lot more famous now, so people will laugh at me no matter what the fuck I say. That's helpful. Um, what I've lost in skill, I've made up in recognition. So it's about the same. As long as I do under 10 minutes, that's when my like dazzling effect wears off. As you can see, I'm just like a normal guy after that. So I got to get off the stage after 10 minutes. <laughs> you, will you tell the Aiden McCallum joke? <laughs> It's a pretty shitty joke. It's not very well structured. It's something to the effect of, like, when I think of it, it's true. Like, when I think about people in life who, like, are super fortunate, Ian McKellen always comes to mind because he got famous when he was, like, 85 years old or something like that. So he went from like fucking like 80 year old men to fucking like 20 year old men. Uh, I always think like that's good for anyone, but for like a gay guy, that must be really rad because like no one wants to fuck an old man. But, uh, but fucking like a 20 year old dude, like that's not that bad. I would do that. So, uh, so Ian McKinnell's just really lucky, is the point of the joke. That's the, it's more just a meditation on how fortunate Ian McKinnell is in life. See if I said that joke.